Potential of EMF of two cells using a potentiometer. The operations required for this experiment are battery, potentiometer, Lacanche cell, Daniel cell, two-way plug key, galvanometer, rheostat, one-way plug key. Here the potentiometer consists of two terminals. The first terminal is taken as A and the second terminal is taken as B. Next, the circuit of comparison of EMF of two cells. The positive terminal of the battery goes to A terminal of the potentiometer. Next, the Leclanche cell positive and Daniel cell positive. Two terminals goes to A terminal of the potentiometer. Means Leclanche cell positive goes to A terminal of the potentiometer. Then Daniel cell positive goes to A terminal of the potentiometer. Then Leclanche cell negative terminal comes to first terminal of the two-way plug key. Okay. In two-way plug key, it consists of three terminals: first, second, and third. First, uh, first terminal goes to Leclanche cell negative, and Daniel cell negative comes to third terminal of the two-way plug key. And galvanometer negative goes to second terminal of the two-way plug key. And positive goes to jockey. Next, potentiometer B terminal goes to rheostat positive. Rheostat negative to one-way plug key. And one-way plug key, another end goes to battery negative. So this is what circuit of comparison of EMF of two cells. Next, switch on the battery. And check out the opposite deflection in the galvanometer. Insert the plug key. Observe, here I connecting terminal first and terminal second. Terminal first and terminal second means it will connect between Leclanche cell and galvanometer. Now here I connect between the first terminal and second terminal of the two-way plug key. Here first terminal is connected to Leclanche negative and another second terminal is connected to galvanometer negative. Therefore, Leclanche cell and galvanometer is connected. Check out the opposite deflection. So place the jockey in near the terminal A of the potentiometer. Observe the galvanometer. So your galvanometer shows uh, right side deflection. Now I place the jockey in terminal B. Right. So when I put put jockey in terminal B, it show deflection in left side. Now it show deflection in left side. Therefore, galvanometer shows what opposite deflection. Opposite deflection means what our circuit is correct. Next step, take out the balancing length. Here I connect between what Leclanche and galvanometer. Find out the balancing length of Leclanche cell. So slide the jockey from terminal A. Now one meter complete, two meter complete, then three meter. So observe the galvanometer. The needle starts deflecting. Right. Now the galvanometer needle comes to zero. So take out the balancing length of Leclanche cell. The balancing length of Leclanche cell equals to here 95.4 centimeter. 95.4 means already we completed 2 meter. Therefore 2.954 meter. So trial number 1. Balancing length of 2.954 meter. For next step. Disconnect Leclanche cell and connect second terminal and third terminal. Second and third, third terminal means second terminal is connected to negative terminal of the galvanometer and third terminal is connected to negative terminal of the Daniel cell. Now the Daniel cell will be connected. Leclanche disconnected. Find out the balancing length of Daniel cell. 
slide the jaw key from point A of the potentiometer. One meter complete. Two meter complete. Then three meter start. Observe the galvanometer. The needle starts deflecting. Now the galvanometer needle comes to zero. Take a find out the balancing length. The balancing length of the Daniel cell equals to 21 centimeter. Already we completed 2 meter. Therefore 2.21 centimeter. 2.21 meter. For second trial, disconnect Daniel cell and connect Leclanche and galvanometer. Vary the rheostat little bit. Next, we find out the balancing length. Again, 1 meter complete. Here, 2 meter complete. Then, 3 meter stops. Observe the galvanometer needle. The needle starts deflecting. When it, the needle comes to zero, find, take out the balancing length. Here the needle comes to zero. The balancing length equals to 85.5 centimeter. It's already we completed 2 meter. Therefore, convert to meter, you get 2.85 meter. Next time, disconnect Leclanche. Connect Daniel. Find out the balancing length. Here we completed 1 meter, then 2 meter, then star 3 meter. Observe the galvanometer. The needle starts deflect. The needle comes to 0. Find out the balance. Find out balancing length equals to 12.7 centimeter. Already we completed 2 meter. So 2 point, how much? 1, 2, 7. Meter. Again, okay, next step disconnect Daniel cell. Connect Leclanche. For third trial, again vary the rheostat little bit. Find out the balancing length. Here, 1 meter complete, then 2 meter complete. Those are the galvanometer needle. comes to 0, find out the ba ba balance length equals to 66.6 centimeter, means 2.66 meter for th third trial. Again, next, disconnect Leclanche, connect Daniel. Again, 1 meter complete, 2 meter, all right, is it, yeah? The galvanometer needle starts deflecting. Now the galvanometer comes to zero, exact two meter. Right. So next step, calculation for. So switch off the battery. Next step, E1 by E2. For trial 1, what's the value of L1? 2.945 divided by 2.21. 2.945 divided by 2.21 equals to 1.332. For third trial, 2.85 divided by 2.127 equals to 1.339. For third trial, 2.66 divided by 2. We get 1.33. So find out the average. 
plus 1.339 plus 1.332 equals to 4.001 whole divided by 3 we get 1.33 so average value of e1 by e2 equals to 1.33 so this is for comparison of emf of two cells e1 by e2 equals to 1.33 here there is no unit in comparison of emf of two cells